join us. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another episode of the Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. Got a uh, request this week, which I'm very happy to oblige. This one comes from Aaron Swicks. Um, YouTube handle is XRWS. N O R A A eighty nine. So Aaron Swicks backwards eighty nine. Um, yeah, thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it. Firstly, Aaron was jumping on. And he was uh, playing along with the live stream with Ashton Sharrett um, on the weekend. Just gone. Um, absolutely fantastic episode. Had an absolute ball talking with Ashton. Um, definitely go back and check out that conversation. It was really really good fun. Um, and yeah, Aaron put a comment just requesting. So have a look at the uh, the original Ahsoka with Rotta the Hutlet uh, from the Clone Wars line, and yeah, this is uh, this is a good one. He also said he just managed to score himself uh, a, a version of this figure on eBay for, or at least I'm pretty sure it was eBay for a, for a good steal. So I wanted to take a look. So I thought, yes, let's do it. Now this is the uh, second variation of the packaging this figure came in uh, from. This is sort of the Legacy Collection did come in those the sort of the bigger rounder bubbles before this as well um there was a little bit of, pretty much a little bit of crossover there with the with the figure lines so this is the version i got clone wars number 26 screenshot there from the film picture there of the figure with little rotter in the top it just says on the back there, Anakin's Padawan Ahsoka both amuses and exasperates her master with her plucky attitude in impertinent comments. She is tasked with keeping Jabba's son safe as she and Anakin try to escape their attackers. She affectionately nicknames the child Stinky because of his odour, the characteristic stench given off by the hut species. So if that little dude stinks, you can only imagine walking into Jabba's palace. Wouldn't be an overly pleasant thing. See, here's some other figures. I do have all of these. I don't know if I still have the original version of Rex. I did get this, the one that was sort of updated a little bit later. I did have that one at some point, though. Right, to D2 Count Dooku. Clone so Commander Cody and the Destroyer Droid. Again, just excellent figures. Yeah, that's the front of the card. Obviously, the pictures come off there. But, yeah, let's take a look at the figure. And firstly, we'll, we'll take a look at the... Uh, little stinky man himself check him out I want to say it's cute even though it looks like a you know a tiny little turd basically <laughs> he does have articulated arms which is insane so he looks like he's like praising something there like hallelujah Yeah, very funny looking looking thing. <laughs> nice detail though. Well, he even got the eyes. A little bit of weathering in all the cracks of his skin. Came up pretty good. And yeah, Soka comes with this backpack with the Republic insignia. So Rodder can just sort of tuck himself in the back there. It's good the placement of the arms sort of just sort of dips into those little grooves on the side there. They will fall out. He is loose, but you know when it's on her back, it does work out pretty well. I will attempt to put the backpack on her shortly. We'll take a look at the figure first. So we'll just put Rotter down there. Stinky. So yeah, first version of Ahsoka Tano to come to life in action figure form. And to be honest, this one still sort of holds up pretty well. I know they've sort of changed changed her outfit in recent media from, from what she had here, basically, the little boob tube. But, you know, for for the animators back in the day, 2008, yeah, it probably wasn't even thought of. It was just something that was easy to animate. Um, we all know what the internet's like these days. And yeah, definitely displaying a slightly more, you know, appropriate 
outfit these days. Not that I ever thought it was inappropriate. It's just, you know, is what it is. Yeah, paint apps aren't too bad. Maybe a little wonky on one eye. But again, this is pre photo real, real days. I don't think it turned out too bad. She's got the one lightsaber at the time, which I do have sort of rubber banded in her hands. Just to, you know, it's starting to get a little bit loose. Um, so yeah, I've just done the little elastic band trick. Just to hold that in there. I do like that sort of shiny sort of green look to the crown. Yeah, nice paintwork. On her montrals and head tails. Looks good. Even the little ornate design on the um on the belt. The front of the belt there. I don't know what this is called. It's like a tabard, but for a belt. And even the soft goods. You know, still stood the test of time. There's no fraying, which is nice. If it's perfectly on the pegs of the stand there, that's something I always like to do is do the uh, peg test. You know, tiny little feet, but, you know, you can still... Still get a peg in there, so there's not really ever any excuse for not being able to do good peg holes on figures these days when it's tiny little, tiny little feet can do it now, or well, back then. Uh, articulation, she does have the ball joint in the head, on the neck, ball hinges on the shoulders, no elbows, just the swivels at the end of the gloves. So maybe, maybe the only little downside there, but, you know, that is pretty skinny, to be honest. The arm's almost as skinny as the lightsaber blade. Uh, it does have the swivel at the waist, swivels at the hips, um, ball hinge in the knees, and the ankles as well. So yeah, petite little figure. Still holds up well. Let's put the backpack on Ahsoka. It's not too tricky. It's there's 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 been more difficult backpacks put on figures in the in the years since. Just sort of getting those nails in there and being able to pull the pull the straps through the back. There we go. Just enough to sort of tighten them. And you kind of just got to let Ahsoka's head tail sort of sit in the back of the backpack like that. And then we can drop Rotter in there. There we go, ready for their adventure. Back to Jabba's palace. So yeah, nice callback. Thanks, Aaron, for the for the video request. I mean, I've always got figures I want to do myself, but you know, always happy specifically for Thursday throwbacks and Power of the Force Fridays, always happy to, to bump up some requests up the queue. I do like she's got the little sort of force gesture there, that looks good. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. Again, any requests Please drop them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. It's nice to nice to take a jump back in time every now and then. We'll see you next week for another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. Thank you for watching. May the Force be with you, always.